All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Pastor Dow. I wanted to come in here just for a moment and take uh, the time to try to explain uh, the position of the faith that I believe in. And the reason why I don't do that, because I, I'm, you know, receiving a lot of new subscribers and a lot of new friends. And of course, when a lot of people come over um, to my particular YouTube page and they hear me speaking um, and teaching, it's a shock. It's actually a literal culture shock to them. Um, I want to just come here briefly just for a moment um, to try to um, give you a little bit of direction as well as understanding uh, why we believe the way we believe here at Straightway. Um, of course, you know, the most sound advice I could give you is, is go to the playlist and um, look over some of those subjects or go back into the archives because it's probably as well over 670 something videos um, and teachings dating all the way back to 2003 uh, here on YouTube. Now, YouTube hasn't been around since 2003, but um, we, we've uploaded some old teachings um, to try to help you. We grew up here in America, and America is what, what you would call a Christian society, or they come from that perspective. Um, this Bible, and I'm going to try my best. I know it's a strenuous thing to do, but I am going to at least make an attempt. Uh, to try to put us on point um, so we can uh, understand the direction that we, we need to be traveling and not what we should be traveling. Uh, if you, like I, you know, you've grown up here in America and uh, we just automatically assume that when we hear the word Christian, um, we make the word association to Christ, the Messiah of the Hebrews. Um, and so we just assume since we have grown up in this culture, and since we have been reared in a society that the faith that we believe is actually the faith that we read about or hear about or spoken about in this book called the Bible. Um, but the truth is, after some diligent research, and you have to, you must do your due diligence, and after a, a lot of secular research and checking things out, uh, you'll come to the conclusion, and it won't take you long to do it either, you'll find out um, that everything that you have ever been taught um, about this book has been lies. Now listen to me real close. This book is not a lie. It's the philosophy. It's the tradition. It's the religion that we have been taught here in America. Let me give you an example. If I was raised a Hindu and you try to come and preach to me about Christianity, um, do you know the uphill climb you have to trying to um, uh, get me to change my perspective? I mean, after all, this religion has been handed down from my father's. Well, that's the same thing we're dealing with here today. Only one problem, though. Um, the fathers of the faith and the father of the faith, his name was Abraham. He was a, he was a Hebrew. Now, when I'm saying these words, you're going to have to check these things out because most of us are not coming from a position of authority to where we understand what we believe. I tell you what, before I go that route, let me go this route first. Uh, how many of you out there have ever heard of Simon Magus? or um, the, the Buddhists, or Marcion, or um, um, St. Jerome, St. Nicholas, um, Justin Martyr, um, Helios. Everything that I just got finished mentioning to you, every one of those names, all of them are what you'll call the church fathers of Christianity. It's just that Christianity is not telling you that. Um, because you're going to have to look behind the scenes to see what's going on. You see, because Christianity has taken the Hebrew scriptures and the Hebrew apostles and the Hebrew prophets and have inserted what their church fathers, Simon Magus, Marcion, um, Justin Martyr, uh, Jerome, um, William Tyndale, um, Martin Luther, uh, they, they've taken all, all of these church fathers. Now, those are Christian church fathers. Those are not my church fathers or the people who follow this book. The founding father of this faith right here was named Abraham. He was a Hebrew and he was an Israel. He was a Hebrew. He was not yet an Israelite. Uh, he had a son named Isaac. Isaac had Jacob. Jacob had his name changed to Israel. He, Jacob had 12 sons. Um, and out of them comes Moses, um, David, Solomon, uh, Daniel, um, Jesus, uh, Peter, 
Paul, James, John, you know, all the people that we know of about this book, and they were all Hebrews, and they were all Israelites. You cannot find one place in this Bible that tells you that Jesus was a Christian. Jesus admonished his people to be his disciples, his pupils, his students, his followers, the people who would follow him. Yeah, but see, raised and reared in this Greco-Roman society here in America, this is a Western perspective, Western viewpoint. We have not been taught the faith of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Moses and David, um, um, Daniel, uh, Jesus, Paul, and Peter. No, we have had another perspective uh, that seems like that they're teaching from this, but no, what they're doing is they're using our book. They're using the historical reference of the Hebrew people, and then they have raised up their own church fathers named Simon Magus, um, Marcion, Justin Martyr, St. Jerome, St. Nicholas, um, William Tyndale, um, Martin Luther, and they brought about the perspective because many of these Christian church fathers have despised and they hated the Hebrew people. They hated what we've come to term today and know as the Jewish people. And so they wanted to do everything that they can or could to distance themselves from the Hebraic way while still using their scriptures. I know that this is, is hard for many of you to understand uh, because you've grown up in Christendom. And so when Pastor Dow tells you uh, that Sunday is false, um, you can't find one place from Genesis to Revelation in the King James Version of the Bible where um, the Sabbath day has ever been repealed. But yet and still, because you've been reared this way and because you have uh, people who go to school to get trained, seminaries, um, they become your preachers and your teachers. And then they continue to keep rehashing the philosophy and the perspective of the church fathers. Listen to me real close. The reason why it's so hard and difficult to reach many of you today, because you have to understand, you must understand this fact right here. Truth is truth to you and to you alone. Um, all truth, um, especially when you hear me speaking, Pastor Dowell, when you hear me speaking, I'm speaking to you the truth and I know that I'm telling you the truth. That's the reason why you don't see none of these preachers jumping on here, um, taking up my offer on an open debate and you won't see them do it either um, because they know that I'm telling the truth and they don't want you people to know the truth because there's big money in Christmas, big money in Easter, and big money in Sunday. But you have to understand um, that all truth, all truth is a lie to you until you get it. Did you hear what I said? All truth is a lie to you until you get it. Have you not noticed the bizarre behavior that whenever you hear something, even though your spirit may agree, your mind disagrees, and as soon as you hear it, the first thing you do, you start of going on a diligent inquisition to search out to see if the truth is the truth. When what you should have been doing is checking out the lies to see if it was the truth. So what y'all to do is check out, check out and see, read it for your own self right here. You have a Bible. I believe that you can exercise self-autonomy. I believe that you're more intelligent than the people who are your so-called church leaders and pastors and apostles, prophets. And, and notice all these Christians are, are all these titles they were only given to Hebrew people. Is, is that not remarkable? Um, but I believe that you can exercise self autonomy, and that's why I'm ecstatic and elated that I get at least 10 communiques a week thanking me because <clears throat> they've been able to hear and they've been able to come out of false pagan Christianity. Again, the church fathers of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, um, not Simon Magus, uh, <clears throat> not Marcion, and see, most of you don't understand that whenever you say that you are a Christian, you're actually saying that you're following the teachings and the doctrines of Simon Magus and Marcion, St. Jerome, St. Nicholas, and Justin Martyr, William Tyndale, Martin Luther. You don't understand that because you have not been told that. So when you come over here and you hear me, I sound like somebody who's got an ear growing up on top of my head. Um, but all I ask you to do is do your due diligence, check it out, and rather get on here and ask a bunch of questions because I learned one thing over the years. Um, the truth is you, you can't even answer all the questions of doubt and unbelief. 
So that's why when I get on here, I come from the perspective of truth. I give you the truth of the scriptures. Now it's up to the eight. It's none of my business if you can't understand. That's between you and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I'm not the one that opens your understanding. I'm the one that proclaims. And if you can hear, then the Holy Spirit will give you it is to hear. Uh, there's much more people that reject the truth than ever receive it. And as a, and you know, we're, we're pretty lazy in this culture and society. You know, we we rather have everything handed to us on a silver platter rather than going doing our due diligence. And I think that you should put a, a, a higher price on your soul than to trust uh, any family or uh, any man, uh, no matter who it is, especially now that you are a man or if you are a woman, you, you, you've, you've grown up now and you have the ability to use independent thinking. You have the ability uh, to, to not have your mind coerced and manipulated any longer and you can discern what is right and what is wrong. You know, one of the hallmark staples about the Hebraic faith is is that there is something that the Messiah had promised to his people that the world cannot receive. And that's called the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, you'll get a lot of people on here from different perspectives, different walks, different um, philosophies, um, different theologies. They don't believe that. That's none of my business. I'm only here uh, to preach to those who are the remnant, uh, those who are the called and chosen ones, um, those who are... Um, have had their understanding open by the Ruah Kadesh. Um, so that's why I ask you to generously check it out. Now, I did get somebody call and said they wanted to take me up on the open debate, but it, it wasn't an open debate. Uh, come to find out, uh, they, they wanted me to travel all the way to Chattanooga uh, to, to sit down in their living room and have a private debate. No, no, no. Pastor Dow's not going to do that. The reason why I challenge all of your preachers and your teachers especially, now listen to me again, especially those of you who are of the Sunday persuasion and especially those of you who are still under the delusion and the deceit of pagan satanic Christianity that preaches and teaches against the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of this book right here. So all your preachers and teachers, and you can look at my views and see that they do watch. Um, ask your Sunday pastor, uh, your Sunday apostle or prophet, whoever you may be. Um, ask them why come they won't have an open debate and discussion if what you believe is so true. See, you have to work out your own salvation and you are the one that's charged to do it with fear and trembling. You let every man be a liar and let the most high Yah be the truth. So my desire is just to present to you the truth. Uh, at least you had your understanding open. You have a way to go from there. But I, you don't see it. I call them out all the time. I, none of these Sunday preachers ever show up. They never do. They never do. Um, so I hope that I've been able to help you new people that uh, come to YouTube to understand why I preach and teach and what I do. Um, if you want to get a better understanding, go back off into the archives and listen to some of the messages uh, that I have up there. But one thing that I do require, um, and I can't make you, but I do require it. You need to have your Bible with you. That's what you need to do. Um, you can write a lie like you can tell a lie. And I have no desire whatsoever uh, to lie to you whatsoever at all. And the reason why I'm so brutally honest and I don't have time for games when I'm getting on this YouTube here is because I understand the pain of lies and I understand uh, the letdown and the betrayal that I felt uh, when I was deceived in Christianity. Uh, so if anything, you want to be more biblically correct you should be a follower of the way or the Nazarene or the Hebrew Israelites. All right. I hope you have a blessed day. I'm getting ready to get out of here and get to work. Uh, make a comment here. Also rate and um, prove all things and hold fast to that, which is good.